Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Strategic Command, World War II, War in Europe here. This is the War Gaming Guy, and as you can see, we've got a few reinforcements, which if you've been following this game, you know is good because we're going to need them. So first of all, let's place our reinforcements, <clears throat> and uh, then we'll bring you up to date, so to speak, on the situation. And all these guys for now are going to go to the west although uh the italian special forces um yeah we're gonna put him here we may send him elsewhere all right here's the strategic situation if you haven't been following since the destruction of army group england a couple of turns ago and the cutoff in the caucasus which has created the baku pocket which we'll show you right here there's the Baku pocket. Who knows how long it's going to last? Almost, but didn't quite take Baku. Our real strategic situation's been clearly shown for everyone. We are clearly on the defensive, and we are in a bad way. We've got the entire coast of England, or I'm sorry, of France to defend. When the invasion comes from the Western Allies, we know they have overwhelming air power, we know they have overwhelming land power as well. They used three or four armored units alone, just American armored units in the invasion and the reconquest of England. So we've got a massive amount of ground to cover here. As if that wasn't bad enough, the eastern front here is very long and, as you can see, is very thinly held. And then there's our situation in the Caucasus, which is another long, thin line. Italy would be much easier to defend than this. This is a very long, thin line, and if the Russians break out of this very far, they will not be able to be contained, at which point, well, the entire Middle East will be open to them. And all out through here, basically, there's no way we're going to be able to defend any of this for very long. They'll simply swamp us with the uh, amount of units they have, as you can see. And they've got more than this sitting behind the line. So the situation is dire, and we are clearly on the defensive. And the question is, obviously, where do we go from here? So since we're here, let's start with here, and let's see what we've got. Obviously, this guy must... No, wait. Does he need to be upgraded? Oh, crud. All right. We're going to reinforce him first because we may not have time to upgrade him. Because look at this. This Italian unit's almost dead. And all I'm going to get it up to is a six, which means it it may not survive. And then there's this. This is the worst of the whole thing. We've got this. What is it? It's well, At least it's entrenched. But I, I can't reinforce it. And if it falls and Astra, uh, Astrea falls, or however you pronounce that, then I'm in big, big trouble. Uh, the Baku Pocket, I can't move these guys any... Oh, now he gets to move. <laughs> Great. Away from anywhere I'd want him to be. But there's no striking power left. Morale has hit the absolute bottom. Uh, no supply, no morale. No supply, no morale. So we're just going to have them sit, and hopefully they'll take some of the... Uh, Russian attention away from this because this is just right now is our Achilles heel. heel. Now we've got Italian units which aren't worth much but they're something. The problem is we can't get them where we want them to be. Uh, if I, and I can't even I can't operate this guy? Oh. Huh. Okay. I, da, 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 da. No, those are all roads. That's the trouble. This rail line Huh. Oh, we're not connected to that rail line, are we? That's why we can't get there. All right, well, let's see. We're just going to march this guy over as far as we can. Can this guy be resupplied? No. Can this guy be resupplied? No. So, um, yeah, this is a bad, bad situation. And because the Turks haven't come in, they destroyed my entire, really, they just threw a monkey wrench if I can use that expression, into the whole thing and totally messed it up. Here in the West, it's just a matter of time till the uh, 
So the allies attack. So let's pull this guy back. I can't. I was going to do some scouting, but it's raining right now, so I can't do that. Uh, this guy is... Yeah, he's fortifying, so we'll just leave him there. Uh, you, at least I'll bring you up to full strength. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to put you there. Put you there. Get some guys down closer to the coast, because I expect this invasion, when it comes, will probably go from stretch from maybe... Uh, well, probably not Calais, maybe, though, but certainly from around La Harve to the bottom of Brittany. So let's, uh, yeah, let's better reinforce him first. I'm going to have to get some real infantry down there as soon as possible. Can't do anything with you. I don't understand why I can't reinforce this guy. So let's just fly him up somewhere where now I know... Come on, if he's sitting there, he should be able to be reinforced. Okay. Um, nope. And nope. And this just makes me, this, this, like if they come in here, boom, they get, it's not a port, but man, it's bad. All right. Upgrade. Oh, we can't upgrade the sub. We will. Not only buy one, but we'll take it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's just the port, so we won't bother with that, but we will upgrade the sub. Uh, we got a destroyer there. This guy. Yeah, let's upgrade the cruiser. There we go. And that brings us... Uh, oh, hold on. Okay, reinforce you. That brings us to what I call the Eastern Front. Now, this guy... Actually, wait a minute. We actually got a defensive line that stretches. It does pretty well. All right, so in that case, you are going west as well. And we'll try and build some defenses along this line. Um, hold on. That means you're going to have to move. Good. We'll put you on the coast. And here he is. And operate this boy. Yes. Over here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where should we put him there? Let's put them there. Because I don't think they let me fortify in cities. They usually don't. So we want to do like two sides. Oh, wait. Let's just rotate those to the right side. There, that looks good. We need more infantry over here. More German infantry in particular. Alright, now let's go to the mind-numbing sapping of my strength here by reinforcing all the guys on the eastern front that need it. That's a lot of people. Okay. Let's swap these guys out. And give this guy back his elites. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, let's advance him first. All right, now this hex, I want this hex, but they keep reinforcing it. I can't use this, so what do we got? I'll take it. Yeah, we're not going to take it this turn. Oh. Okay, reinforce you uh woo, you need reinforcing that's for sure uh ba 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 whoop hold on there corner guy always needs reinforcing cuz they love to pick on the corner units this guy needs some help this guy needs some help da -da 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 -da. i might as well no i can't so i won't uh, oh, yeah, my special forces. I forgot about this guy. 
Uh, let's see. Can we reinforce you? You're still on my road line. We should be able to. <laughs> yeah, big deal. Um, let's get him up here. Ah, oh, dang it. All right. So we will swap this guy out. I was going to swap there, but... Not until I get him upgraded or reinforced, so there's no hope for you. Let's pull these guys up here. Because I won't be able to... Oh, I can reinforce you. Nice. Yeah, big deal. Nope. Yeah, big deal. One point. Ah. Ouch. See, that's why I shouldn't have done that. Top these guys off. There. Now, here's our problem area. We had a breakthrough. Oh, it's a bigger problem area than I thought it was going to be because we've got this stupid Italian headquarters there. So, we're going to have to double time him. So now, uh, we could attack that or that. Let's go for this one. See if we weaken him is what will happen. Probably a big lot, a whole lot of nothing, but yeah, we're not going to do that. So at this point, things are not great down here. We've had worse breakthroughs here, but we had more reserves back then. So the line is pretty much paper thin. Let's check diplomacy. There's the Turks. Oh, I hate the Turks so much. <laughs> they just won't move. These people, I'm telling you. All right, army. Ugh, full price. I was hoping we might have a destroyed one we could rebuild. Purchase. Can we get another one? No, we can't. What's that leave us? Paratroopers? Uh, heavy tanks. Gee, no way we're going to get one of these. Yeah, no way. Paratroopers, maybe? I don't need the aircraft. Our paratroopers aren't going to be paratrooping anymore, so I'm down to 26. Wow. Okay, but the Italians, now they have guys they can... Ooh, and look at that. Love it. Let's purchase one. Oh, I can't do any more? Ugh. Curses. Foiled again. Okay, uh, research. Let's just check. I've spent all my money this turn, so I can't do anything else. Advanced tanks and infantry weapons we're done with. Getting close on any tank. These guys in here, well, we're done. Advanced aircraft, we're out too, so. Uh, actually, we're in pretty good shape here. It's always nice if you can get this up to five, but that's 200 MPPs. I don't think I want to spend that. And for the Italians go, besides tanks, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, I've spent like 13 and a half minutes doing this. So, wow. There's your overview. There's the situation. Let's see what the enemy is going to do. Probably something I don't like. That seems to be the way it goes. And apparently the enemy's thinking a lot right now. And that is probably bad news for me as well. Yes. And the weather. Hopefully it'll... S okay. For a minute there I thought it said they invaded. Hopefully they'll... Uh, it No. It cleared up. Naturally. Of course it did. <laughs> Gee. Oh, the allies, man. They whine and complain about the weather, but they get better weather than I do, and they need it. They need the clear sky so they can unleash all those aircraft on me. And they have a lot, let me tell you. Oh. Ooh. Look at that. Two long-range amphib units. And they're so sure my sub will die this turn. 
which is a good bit. That's the U Banzai, in case you don't know. It got trapped up there. I renamed it in honor of our Japanese allies, since it looked like he was going to have to immolate himself. And then he missed that chance at the carrier because I overlooked it like a dope. So, ooh, mm, that's interesting. They pulled that infantry unit back. They'll put something in its place. Uh-oh, here we go. Here comes the air power that I was hoping to avoid. <sighs> Man. Attack air is the real, really bad stuff. Okay, well. Ooh, took a point off. Hmm, good, good, good. Don't let him get you. Boy, they want that hex really bad. That's Breslitovitsk, or however you say it. Breslitovitsk, whatever. That's, I've got to hang on to that. They take that. That's probably going to unhinge a whole section of the line. And comes the artillery, of course. And what are they going to do here? Going after the Baku pocket. The Panzers. Digging in, not letting the missiles get to them. But their morale shot, so. They should be able to take them out pretty quickly, unfortunately. As my dreams of dive, die, uh, just die. Yeah. Dog on it. All right. Well, the last remnant of my experiment in England. And did you notice that those long range amphibs came in and they just totally missed my sub? So I'm going to have to move that sub closer, which means he'll probably die. But what good is he sitting out there if he's not at least slowing down some of these reinforcements? He's never going to be able to take enough uh, of uh, the supply out to make any difference for the Western Allies. Those convoys, are they're cranking. So I'll probably lose him too, but so it's a question of do I let him sit out there and be ineffective or come in close and probably be ineffective, but maybe do a little damage. These are the kind of things that the that the Axis gets to do late in the game, the kind of questions that you have to ask yourself if your brilliant plan has not succeeded. As my brilliant plan did not succeed, but doesn't mean it wasn't brilliant, at least in places. Just means it didn't work out right. Oof, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh! Well, that's okay. You're going to be easier to kill. Oh, look at that. They're trying to break the shoulders with the penetration, but they don't say it too soon, Louie. It looks like they failed. How about that? That's safe to say. Ah, switcheroonie time. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Ooh, no, no, no. I don't like this. No. Uh-oh. They can switch him. They're going to. Dang it. Cavalry. Ah, shoot. He's down to five. That's bad. And he's going to be down to three. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Go dark, go dark. No, no, don't retreat, you. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, crud. This is not good. I'm a little surprised that some of these guys they're bringing in to fight are not full strength. That's interesting. I wonder if... I mean, it's hard to imagine the Russians would be having MPP troubles, but maybe a little, anyway. Man. Almost springtime, folks. That's not good news for us. Better news for the attacker than the defender. Oh... Wow. Uh, you're killing me here. Uh. You 
gotta hold, you got to hold. Yes. Come on. Good, at least we held that shoulder. Let's see if they're gonna do the switcheroonie here. They are. Ha. Failed. I do wish the map would center on things like this so we don't have to look clear down at the bottom, barely able to see it over the strategic map, you know. That would be something nice of them to build into this. Man. Russians just keep coming, don't they? But that's what they're famous for. Yep. Yeah, here comes another one. Not much to say about all this, because there's just not much to say. <laughs> They're just continuing to hammer away at us, little by little by little. And, uh... Eventually, of course, the plan for them is that we'll collapse in one or more places, and then once they can get the front moving, that's like the worst possible news for us. And the best for them. Oh, every time we get to five, that's bad news. You lose your zone of control, which doesn't matter so much right here, but it's just like, it seems like they go downhill pretty fast. Uh-oh. All right, the defenders, the brave defenders of the Baku pocket fight on against the fanatic Russian communists, the godless communist, fighting our brave men. And here we go. Pick on the weak link. Uh-oh. Cavalry attack the Baku pocket, but they are pushed back. Paratroopers attack. Good. This is what we want, Baku boys. The brave boys of Baku fight on. Here's a great newspaper uh, headline for you. <laughs> That's actually amazing that they're doing this well. Yes! The Russian supply might not be too good there either. Oh, cool! That's right. Aid the brave boys of Baku. The brave battling boys of Baku, aided by the artillery from Rommel's main forces. Because, of course, we're going to tell the people at home that we will eventually fight through and liberate them, or they'll fight their way out, or whatever. But, of course, everybody knows they're toast. And if they manage to survive all this, next stop, Siberia, for the brave boys battling in Baku. Yeah. My Stalingrad. At least it's smaller than the real thing. Unless you want to count England as my Stalingrad, in which case then it was bigger. That's more like the destruction of Army Group Center. Kind of done early. That's why I called it the destruction of Army Group England. But either way, either way, folks, things are not good. Let's see what's going on here. Aha! The Italians, the brave Italians standing up, even though they're not as strong as they should be repelling assault after assault after assault in the Caucasus Mountains. Defending the people of the Mideast from the Russian invaders. 
Because remember, they did invade us first. They declared war on us, people. Don't forget that. The Russians declared war on us. So when it's all over in the war crime trials, my lawyers will be talking about this. You just can bet your sweet bippy on that. And you can even prove my defensive mindedness by the by the front line here, you see? We're just like barely into Russia. We're just trying to defend ourselves. If we hadn't invaded England and France and Belgium and Norway and Luxembourg and the Netherlands, that might sell a little better, I have to admit. <laughs> oh well. Come oh don't like that. Come on now. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, now, come on. You're not going to let some stupid recon unit push you around. Where's your pride? Where's your self-respect? Come on. Ouch. At least you're exacting a toll from the armor. That's good. Make them pay. Make them pay. If you're going to pay, make them pay. Ouch. Well, it's all right. They're down to five. So, oh, shoot. Here comes the switcheroo. Ugh. they open that town up? Surely they'll fill it before the end of the turn. Oh, good lord, down to four. That's horrible. If they don't occupy that, I am. Somehow. I don't know how. But it would probably be a better defensive position than the one behind it is. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, I knew they wouldn't leave Lvov open. Good. That should quiet that sector down a little bit. Wow. Looks like we might get through the AI turn before the end of this video. Come on. Come on, AI. Hurry up. Okay, well, we weathered another storm. It looks like in halfway decent shape, but how long is the question? Jeez, look at the Baku pocket. Holy crud. Talk about being outnumbered with nowhere to go. Uh oh. Oh, good. I thought for sure they'd attack. Okay, let's just see, yeah, armored train, those things actually can be a pain at times, usually they're not really that much to deal with, but they can move fast and far, so they're actually pretty good at plugging holes, if the hole is not a rail line, of course. Like it when I hear that jet sound. Don't like it. Notice how quiet the Western Allies have been so far. That makes me a little nervous. Just imagining they're upgrading, resupplying, reinforcing their troops, positioning them, getting ready for the invasion in a month or so, month or two. It's March 3rd. Like I said before, I'm guessing April, May, maybe June. Before they hit England. God, that's a depressing thought, let me tell you. They're going to be hard to stop, if we can do it at all, which, quite frankly, I don't think so. But 
We'll do what we can. That's the thing about this game is any of the any of the players, but especially the Germans or the Western Allies, what happens on one front happens on other fronts in the sense that if I send more units, you know, to France, that means there's less units for the Russian front or the Caucasus front. So you strain me in one place, it strains another, and eventually when it breaks, it gets bad. So there you go. Okay. They are thinking, they are purchasing, they are re-strengthening some of their units, reinforcing them, and uh, processing events. So we should be just about done here with this turn and with this video. Let's just see what happens. We're a little over time, but not bad. So uh, looks like mud in the east in any way. Here we go. All right, this is the Wargaming Guy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll be back soon with another Strategic Command video. So until then, take care. Uh, well, let's just go through the... Oh, look at that. That's interesting. They're feeling us out for the invasion. And, all right, here we go. Uh, we'll pick this up next turn. So until then, take care, everybody, and I'll see you later.